Hi guys, it's Luton here and I'm back for another episode of Control C, Control V, the series where I am almost obligated to speak about the things that other producers are talking about. And it's no surprise that today we're talking about the patch. Shock. Um, yes, the patch. So I've watched pretty much everybody else's videos. I've also read about all the different things. I've also played tons of the game, played all last night. We did streams, played today as well. So I've tried to put a lot of different situations down. I've tried to try out a load of different things. I've tried playing by myself. I've tried playing with my squad. I played on my server, I've played on random public servers, on different settings, on hardcore, on normal. So, you know, as is my normal thing, I've tried to, you know, cover a wide base and try and actually find out how things are feeling. Um, I've, I've got to tell you, <laughs> from what I've seen, there's definitely a few exaggerations going on, which doesn't surprise me at all. Um, there's plenty of people going like, it's all fixed, there's plenty of people going, nothing's changed, and, you know, it's all a bit of a, yeah, all over. I gotta tell you, right, bottom line, it, it, there's some good feeling in it, but it's not, you know, the end of the world, it's not, it's not a, it's not a new day. Um, I think the people that are like Twitcher players, you know, the people that really get into the little, like, micromanaging and things, they'll be probably quite happy, but if you're like a standard player, I, you'll feel like some difference, but really, meh. it's like, thing is, I never even really felt like there was major issues in the first place, and that's probably maybe just me, but honestly, it's more, it's actually, it's not so much that I never saw that there were issues, it's more that I see bigger issues in the way people play, and all of those issues still remain. So again, you know, all of these fixes that have happened are great, they're really positive, they're excellent, and it's, it's good that DICE have put these in place, and it's very good, you know, big respect that they took the time to go in and find out all these different things. But at the end of the day, the rounds play out the same because the people play the same. So from that perspective, nothing changes, right? And that's why for me, the objective CTE is the one that's actually important because that actually will provide you with some game improvements. Right now, all it is is that certain gunfights, like let's say 25% of your gunfights, you may find some difference. Um, let's just talk about some of the bits and pieces that are going on here, right? Um, so first of all, uh, weapon damaging. Uh, they have changed some of the weapon damage values very, very slightly. Uh, so minimum, maximum damage at different ranges, you might find it takes an extra round to kill. Obviously that has some impact on some of the engagements and some of the situations that you'll find yourself in. But again, it's by the by more dependent on what your team are doing and where you are and your position in relation to that other player. So. The, you know, it's it's kind of it's one of those things which is a change, but it's a change that you'll only notice in certain situations. Uh, the overall responsiveness that has been really good. Um, your player feels much more sort of snappy now. You know, you you really kind of feel like you're pushing and moving and dodging and weaving and you can get around a lot better. It just feels, uh, a couple of guys said it feels more arena-ish. It, it does, it's got that kind of responsiveness. So it's it's just more responsive. It just feels snappier and overall that, that's a pretty good thing, you know. Uh, on the downside, I should point out that, you know, in a couple of the games that I had tonight, still had shocking micro stutter. So again, you know, it come, the same issues remain. Um, and on that point as well, um, I had many times tonight and other players commenting you know guys I play with my clan and blah, 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 loads of uh, trades and loads of getting shot behind corners there was multiple times where I had jumped out of the way and then died after I passed around a corner so those issues remain um, and again I don't think we'll probably ever see those issues away those are the things that really bug me actually are those kind of situations the trades and the turning corners I had a lot of trades still you know turn a corner fire first and you know, or you fire sort of, you feel like you've both got on target and maybe one of you should have at least stayed alive, whether it was him or you. No, still like total trade. Um, so those issues, again, remain. Visual recall, this is a good thing. Visual recall has been improved. Uh, so now you control them in a more realistic way. Um, but visual recall is basically uh, dice added extra visual recoil to your weapon, but the way in which your gun actually dispensed, the way it actually fired, uh, you didn't, it, it didn't affect that. 
but it's just like from a visual point of view how your gun operated was more exaggerated that's been removed basically the kind of rds's and stuff like that so basically when you're firing it has less recoil essentially is you know from your point of view so again a lot of people will like that um i guess it kind of balances those weapons makes them a little bit more effective in certain situations but again if you were used to it already by now, I mean, it's a year, right? So chances are you're kind of used to it by now. Um, so I, I kind of question, did that need to go? But again, okay. Uh, the head sort of uh, twitching, that's been edited a bit. So basically when you fire and hit a guy, his head doesn't flick. So if you were going for like the headshot and you've got a couple of clips and it's sort of, you know, it, it nearly went to kill him but not quite it should basically get that now it should be a bit easier for you to get that now so that's a good one as well um grenades grenades um they basically just adjusted the grenades a little um so i think it's like pretty much what a reduction of like one you're carrying like rgo reduced by one uh v40 i think reduced by one so there's there's the list so i'll actually copy that and post it in the video so you can uh, just read for yourself but they basically just reduce, reduce the grenades a little bit. One other change with the grenades, of course, is the smoke and flashbangs. Uh, the flashbangs have a much more significant effect, last longer, and they also take out some of the kind of HUD, like it makes it go a bit blur. That's a really, really good thing. Uh, I, this actually kind of comes directly back from feedback we were giving to the guys at Hardline, and we noticed that their flashbangs operated differently. We Pretty much all the YouTubers, I think, said this is a really, really positive thing. We want to see this. They've listened. They've taken that on board, passed it, discussed it around, and it's fed back through into Battlefield. So that's actually a really, really good thing. Uh, the smoke also. I'm a big fan of smoke, as you guys know, and the smoke grenades operate differently now. They operate. They give, they give more smoke and a denser smoke. It's really good. I've been taking smoke grenades, and they are useful. Smoke grenades for my assault kit are becoming the primary thing for me now because they are so good for assaulting positions. They're so good for defense you know dropping smoke down moving away getting into those clusterfuck situations you drop the smoke so you can break through or at least some of your guys can get through so the changes there as well have been really really positive so I've been impressed and pleased that they've made those changes with the you know sort of extra grenades um, coming into the game you've also got the timer now at the beginning of the game there is a downside to this which I think a lot of people didn't think about which is that now um, on conquest maps it doesn't matter a lot of so conquest rush doesn't matter but if you're on an infantry centric map TDM or um, domination you now find yourself in a call of duty situation and that basically means you remember at the start of call of duty all of you guys are like standing there waiting to begin the game and then you all rush out together but what's happening now, and I've seen this already tonight, like in about three games, was at the beginning of a game of domination now, what happens is because both teams are already spawned, everybody runs forward and just throws grenades. So you're turning into a Call of Duty situation where you have that initial grenade spam. So when you start games, maybe flank, don't go straight forward. Go to the sides, get out of the way because there'll be grenades coming at you. And it happened. I mean, I was playing a goal mode domination and they start very close to you and they were running straight at us. They just, they were ignoring the objectives. They just ran straight at us and threw like grenades. And it took out about a third of my team at least. And then the guys that were left were going to go for the reses and they came in and they wiped this all out and then they bam, 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 triple capped. So that's and that's just a direct result of that kind of new um, mechanic being put in place for people spawning in. So it's it's pro, you know it's positive and negative right revolver trigger delay uh, has been removed from you know basically things like the magnum and the unica this is really good uh, the rex as well um, makes these guns much more viable much more comfortable i've been using the unica and i super love that gun um, the magnum is very good as well of course but um, unica I, I much prefer really uh, so it basically just makes those guns feel a lot more comfortable much faster and you can really sort of get to grips with them so that's that's really good uh, classic servers, they've put the classic server mode in so you don't have kind of health revive, you know, you can only spawn a squad leader, etc, etc. It's a nice way to play, it's a good change up and uh, I think that would be very positive. Uh, I think it could be more positive to see that almost kind of as the default and then you have to adjust it otherwise, but that's just my personal opinion. One other thing that I thought was noteworthy was the s'mores. They've improved the top speed and acceleration of those, which uh, basically makes them a lot more viable for things like taking out scout helicopters. Uh, so that's that's pretty positive. Um, UI changes. Uh, with the UI changes, obviously we have triage. Triage is now where you have the timer circle around the players. I can't emphasize enough how positive that is. The triage um, system now 
is so fantastic and the fact that this came from you know the player base is even better um also to go hand in hand with that we now have the activation sound for the paddles when you go to revive somebody that also is extremely positive i've seen so many more full revives from myself and from many public players now in fact it's funny you almost when you stand up and you go like where's the med pack and you're like oh i'm fully revived so it's it's just much better you start to charge 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 and it's like beep beep and you're ready to go and you just charge it up so really really positive that's a great thing to put in triage as well enables you to kind of know you know have i got enough time to search for enemies or do i need to get on this guy and revive right now um so it, you know and also if you have two or three guys who are you going to prioritize it's an amazingly good system it's an amazingly simple system it's a very very clever thing and um that for me is probably one of the the biggest changes um again i've seen a lot of people talking about the guns talking about the tweaks talking about the stats all this kind of stuff as far as i'm concerned the triage thing eclipses those by 300 percent or more like it, it's just so much of a bigger change to the game mechanic than any of the other things um you know you can talk all day long about flinching and suppression and damage models and how many grenades you're carrying and visual recoil and all these different things but the triage system it changes the game in a much more significant way. Uh, for me, the triage system is far, far greater than anything else. I'm going to shut up about it now. Um, UI changes, maps and stuff like that. Maps your HUD elements. You can scale them. You can adjust transparencies. This is obviously a fantastic thing. Um, I think it's a very, very good thing as well to, for, to give people customization of your UI, to be able to change it and move it around. Uh, many games that I've played in the past, many MMOs, you've been able to completely free customize your UI. Um, my WoW UI used to be ridiculous ridiculous um, but again I, I've never been one of these players I know a lot of people really hate the UI and they feel like there's too much UI I, I it doesn't fuss me at all I just get on with it and play um, so it doesn't really bother me but it's good that it's there I will be making some small tweaks to me but probably nothing very significant um, it, I'm totally fine with it as it is so so overall what's my opinion about this you probably want to know how this is going to change the game uh, my basic baseline is that it doesn't really change the game in any significant significant way. Um, it's all nice things but it's nothing that changes the game for the simple reason that people will still play the game the way they have always played the game. Uh, it may mean that in certain situations you win an extra fight here and there but of all the games I played in the past 24 hours the whole night that I played on my server and on other servers uh, I play with different people I play by myself and all of that time none of those rounds felt any different. Um, I personally felt I was able to move better and the triage system made things nicer and there was some small weapon feeling different, you know, and, and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, you can you can take all that and it's all good, right? But the baseline is that the game hasn't changed. And the reason the game hasn't changed is because of the player base. And this is what I've said a million times, you know, and it comes back to what I was saying when we, me and Dasko were talking on the last video the other day. You know, you can talk and you can talk and you can talk about weapons and you can talk about the DMRs now and you can talk about the car, the bullpups and how they've been changed now, the bullpups and the carbines, okay, so that they have like a small buff compared to like the assault rifles and things like this. You can talk about all the different changes and, you know, the revolvers and all these kind of things. And that's great. All of those things are good. All of those things add, you know, more depth, more kind of feeling, more kind of tightness with the way that you play. But at the end of the day, the game plays out according to how the players play. And if the players aren't willing to get involved, if they're not willing to play the objective, if they're not willing to open their eyes and look at what's happening around them and move where they need to move, the game doesn't change. And therefore, it stays the same. And, and that's how it is. Um, and so I'm, I'm not trying to be down. I'm really not. Uh, I'm not trying to be like super negative or moany or anything like this. Like I say, there's some fantastic things in there. The triage system, I think, works really good. I love the fact that the trigger delay is removed. Uh, all of the bits and pieces that I mentioned are positive things. They're all good things. But... All I'm trying to say is keep your feet on the ground, okay? Don't listen to people that say, like, this is the, the new dawn. This is the new battlefield. Everything changes from here. And it's bollocks, okay? I'm sorry, all right? It's crap, all right? It doesn't, it's not a new dawn. It's not a new day, all right? It's the game plays the same because the players play the same, right? There's some tweaks and there's some nice things in there which will improve your personal gameplay in certain situations. But don't expect that it's going to be this glorious new thing. Okay, I'm just trying to be realistic here. I'm just trying to be objective. All right. It will still feel the same in many situations. You think you're not going to get spawn trapped anymore? 
you're going to get spawn trapped. You think you're not going to get C4'd by some fucking asshole? You're going to get C4'd. You know, especially... Oh my god, I've got to say as well. This, the new assignment, 4 million C4s, are you taking the piss? I read that today and I was just like... I, I, can, I, I have no words for that assignment. I I really don't. Form it C4. I feel like taking a break. I feel... I, thank fuck that Alien Isolation is coming out. Because let me tell you, I don't want to be around when people are trying to get 4 million C4 kills, right? Anyway, so this patch. Uh, the patch is good. It's a positive thing. And I, I do honestly say, like, thanks to DICE for putting the time for going and researching these things. But what I just don't want people to do is to... I just don't want people to get, like, the wrong idea about this patch. That it's going to suddenly turn the game on its head and make things totally different. The main thing that really changes the game is the triage system, like I've already said. Alright, that's going to make people actually operate differently. It should improve your situation more than anything else, I think. So, really what I would like, go play the game yourself, alright? Don't take my word for it, just go play the game. Try the different things out, okay? My opinion is my own, and it's probably best that you guys, and you all have your own playing styles and different ways that you play, go and try it out for yourself. Don't take other people's word. Just try the things that you play, try the game modes that you play. So I want to say thanks for listening to this today, guys. Uh, I hope you appreciate my honesty and my objectivity with this, because I just, with something like this, where it's just literally changes into the game, I didn't want to bullshit around and be like, oh my god, Battlefield, it's the new Battlefield. No, okay. It's, it's the same, but with some nice things there, okay? And as I say, I'm still getting the main issues that piss me off, like getting shot around a corner. That's the things that really bug me. That's the stuff that I want to see changed. All this other stuff is kind of by the by. So it's great stuff, but I mean, Objective CTE is where I'm at, really. So that's the thing that I'm looking towards. And also, last thing for anybody who's actually made it through this video, okay? Uh, I have had some feedback from uh, one of the DICE devs who I sent my Objective stuff through to. And I'm pretty sure that very soon I'll be able to actually give some of that feedback through to you guys. And um, some of the things that have been mentioned to me are things that have not been stated elsewhere. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, but I don't know if I'm actually allowed to uh, convey the things that have been said through there. So I need to go check and see whether I'm allowed to. And then if I am, then I'll come back and I'll tell you guys uh, what was sort of passed back through to me there. Um, but they're working really hard on that and DICE have been doing a good job. And it's impressive that they're supporting the game through to this stage. Uh, a lot of developers would not have done a lot of producers and so on would not have done to this stage so it's to their credit that they are doing so and continue to do so so that's also really really positive um, I'm also going to be giving some thoughts about Russian stuff pretty soon so I know that uh, if you guys have anything more specific that you actually want me to take a look at please drop that down below in the comments um, go play the game come back tell me what you think about it I'd be very interested to hear as always and I'll interact with you guys uh, more streams and stuff coming out this week and uh, a lot of things to talk about so there we go uh, thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video as always drop a little rating helps me out of course and uh, see you next time more battlefield 4 see you then